subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is taking a look at the action today. I posted the chart of the E-mini. As you can see here uh, in the E-mini, we went through the 3A2 like it didn't exist while the Fed chairman was getting ready to speak. It went up exactly to the tick of the 50% retracement at 42.20 and broke 110 handles. That's, that's a significant amount, folks, no matter how you're going to measure things. But it's on a Friday in a summertime week, so anything is possible. I want to show you the next one that was even clearer because we've been saying uh, that the one that has been the weaker of this group has been the Dow Jones Industrial Average, only being six stocks. And if we get this up here, we'll take a look at it. You'll see there we are, beautiful ABCD. Look at that, folks, to the tick right there, a little above the 61 retracement there at 33,330. We ran it. We ran 80 points higher than that to complete the ABCD there, and then we've broken down 900 handles. That's not unusual, folks. I think it's important that we pay, you know, close attention to that. And the main reason is, if you remember here, we were talking about this. Uh, let, well, let's let, let me do it with the longer term uh, chart first because this really shows the whole picture. It's just exactly like the E mini, uh, the cash S and P. 500. So let me get this up here to see where we are. I'm not sure our guest is going to be able to make it today at Stan Harley, but as you can imagine, he's up to his uh, uh, neck and alligators today with this action that we're having. You'll notice here we have this big island reversal happen. This is the same thing we had in the S&P 500. That is by far the most bearish of all the patterns you can possibly get. So remind ourselves of that. That's not an unusual thing to look at. Okay. Now, next thing I wanted you to see is I want you to take a look at the, uh, that was the chart of Microsoft, okay? I want you to see Microsoft because now I want you to see Microsoft over here again, just on a smaller time frame so you can see what, uh, see what I'm trying to show you. I'm, I'm just so bearish, folks. I haven't been this bearish since Hector was a pup and that dog's 39 years old. Uh, you'll see this is the 382 retracement, okay? Well, this morning, all we could do was open slightly higher, boys and girls, in Microsoft, slightly higher. And let's just see what happened to Microsoft after we opened slightly higher. Same thing, uh-oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Got to get this ball game in business. Oh, no, lost data. This is not fair. Hold on just a minute. Doggone it. Ah, shucks. Okay, now here is a chart. Uh, you'll see Softy went up. Um, went up basically not even close to the 382 retracement, and now we've broken down into new low ground. Folks, this pattern, if it completes today, well, it's going to complete because it's <laughs> we got three hours to go. But if we close poorly today, anything under, uh, you know, Dow down 600 points or more, look out because, boy, Monday is going to be really, really nasty next week. This is such a bearish pattern that we've seen. I know the Federal is out there telling us what's going on. And they came out and, you know, after he starts talking, it drops 900 points. Come on. You know, something's something's not right here in River City. So remind ourselves that that's what we're that's what we're looking at here when we're watching these things. That we're seeing these things that are looking, you know, very, very interesting. Now, we, we preach here a lot about 382. And uh, since we're talking about 382, let's just take a look at the NASDAQ again. We're going to do the same thing here with the NASDAQ. By the way, is any of, if any of you of our uh, listeners are in Redmond, Washington, I would like for you to give me a call. Eight, seven, uh, no, that's the TFNN. This is my private number. It's 520-241-5793. 
if you're anywhere near Redmond, Washington. Uh, hold on just a minute here. Let's move on. You can see there's the 382. We went slightly above it. You can see here by about 20 pips when the Federal Reserve was in there talking. And now we have broken more than 300 points, 350 points to the downside. This is not good action, folks. This is not good action at all. So remind ourselves of that. Very, very, very important. Okay, now before we get on to anything else, I want to share with you a little bit about value and and trying to pick things. Let me show you something here, folks. This, uh, you know, I watch the I watch the horses at Saratoga because this is a an old family thing with my grandfather. But I want to show you just to show you what can happen at the races. If you're ever at the races, this is what you want to do. Okay. Remember, the races take 16% off the top. Now you see the winning jockey here, Flavian Pratt. He went off at 12 to 1. Okay. Now, if you'd have bet him to win with all the other horses, which would have been a bet of $33, you'll see that Superfecta paid $1,600. In other words, you bet $33 to win $1,600. That, that's, what, that's what value betting is all about. What happened here was, look at all these long shots that finished second, third, and fourth. You see, so what you're doing is you're picking this horse to win and all the others to line up here. So there's 120 different combinations at 10 cents a piece, okay? That's a hot, you're betting $12, okay? 120 times 10 cents is $12, but you get back 1680, okay? Now he's the winningest jockey in the country, folks, numero uno, and they let him go off. And the same thing happened a little bit later. In the in the in the hold on just a second I'll get up here I mean I, this is really unusual to see this is almost like uh, picking lottery tickets uh, two days in a row and I'm showing you this because this is all about numbers and that's why uh, you're you're looking for value here's the same thing that happened here he is again you can see here time this time he's only four to one but look at this he comes back and he wins seven hundred and ninety dollars for twenty one dollars. So that's what you're trying to do when you're looking at trades is to try to find, you know, those that line up like that. And that's the that's the real key, you know, to what we're watching here. So I think it's important to remember these things. And since you're looking at value when you're watching these things, we always get here at TFNN and, and try to talk to us about the, uh, you know, these 3A2 patterns and how they work in strong trending markets. And here's the Dow Jones. Look at this. There's your first 3A2 pattern right here. There's your second 3A2 pattern just hit right there. Little ABCDs, I mean, on a three-minute chart. But, my gosh, when you're trading wild like this, you ain't got nothing to, you got nothing else to uh, hang your hat on. So that's what you got to do. You got to dance with the girl that took you to the dance, as Yogi Berra would say. Anyway, closing today, folks, for God's sakes, listen to me, please. Do not be long stocks if we close badly today. Anything under 500 points in the Dow Jones is what I consider badly. And next week is going to be a stand up in front of the wall firing squad. Put your uh, masks on and pray that you're not the one, you know, standing against the wall. That's basically what it looks like. This is flat out bearish. That bearish pattern that Jeff Huge pointed out, the one we've seen in Microsoft with that uh, well, I'm getting a little too excited here. Take the digitalis. Take the digitalis. We'll be back. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine. Capricorn. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, boys and girls, Billy Ray Valentine has now settled down into his B mode. And as you can see, this is the chart of the bear market from Mr. Um, Jeff Huge that we looked at on Monday. We left that island reversal, and what we do, we came down hard into Wednesday. We rallied Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like there was no tomorrow, but tomorrow stopped at the 3A2 on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It stopped at the 3A2 on the NASDAQ and proceeded to drop 2% from both of those. And if you close badly today, and if you close badly today, get ready, folks, because they're not going to take any prisoners next week. I don't know what's going to cause it. I don't know. But all I can tell you, I'm just a chartist looking at this chart. This is one bearish, buh, bearish one. <laughs> I almost said something a little off the color, but I didn't do it. Anyway, it's a bearish one for sure. Anyway, be very, very careful being long. Protect yourself, folks, because closing badly today, coming into that. First of all, look at we got we're looking staring at September coming in here in seven or eight days and September and October are the two most logical months for the stock market to make a major bottom. I mean, that's been the case for a very, very long time. So let's remind ourselves. I don't know if we've been able to reach Dan Harley or not. I haven't seen anything uh, from it. But I, for you know, heaven's sake, we got to give him on days like today. We've really got to give him a lot of. A lot of, uh, you know, things to think about. Since, since, since we were thinking about it, and they're going to think about it some more, we were talking about your old buddy, the 3A2. Now, if we get this up and take a look at it, bring this up here so you'll be able to see it here. There you are right there. There you are right there. There's your old 3A2. Exactly. Right off the high we made eight days ago. Right on the money. Look at that. We had a smaller 382 off of this one here yesterday. We backed off. There was the 135 pattern that we talked about yesterday, folks. There it is right there. 135. Bada bing, bada boom. And where'd she go? Right up to the old 382. That's why when these patterns work, they work pretty nicely. Not all the time. But guess what, boys and girls? Nothing works all the time. Nothing works all the time. That's the main thing for sure. Just remember, if we close badly today in these markets, it's not going to be good. I mean, 
that, that those patterns are they're they're predictive within within uh, what do you call it in um, shucks within uh, <laughs> within limits okay and so th this is this is one that you got to pay attention to folks th this is not only that we're in a downtrend you see we're not we're not at January 4th I could have been wrong on January 4th that one worked out okay but th this one this one's a big one you're trading with the trend you're trading with the 382 you're trading with the gap you're trading with the Federal Reserve out there telling you stuff that's not true you can't ask for anything better than that. So uh, that's my story, and I'm ticket, sticking to it. If we close above uh, 32,800, uh, that'd be up 180 points from where we are right now. I'd say, eh, the old Italian boy's probably off course here a little bit. But if we close badly, and if we close badly, this thing is not going to open unchanged on Sunday, folks. I don't know if there's anything really big happening. I think our Mr. Shane man is probably listening. There might be something out there that's going to be really uh, – really quite spectacular over the weekend. I don't know what it would do. we got a new moon today, for heaven's sakes. That ought to be enough to get the thing uh, moving down anyway. My goodness, this is the 26th with the new moon. Holy moly, guacamole. Okay, now, the second question we have is from one of our listeners, and that is about, hold on one second, let me, I've lost a little bit of uh, data here. Just one second, folks. I'm trying to show you these the best I can. Um, that is this one here that we're watching here in the gold market. We were fortunate enough to get that short off at the 382 in the gold market at 1777. We're now trading about uh, $2,800 uh, under on that. You'll see the last time we uh, went up to that level, you'll see we're right up to that 382 level right in here. Now we made that smaller 382 level and now we're continuing to go lower. One of our listeners down in um, Houston, Texas, Mr. A.T., uh, one of our main men, was talking about the um, – uh, hold on, let me just get it up here so we can all see it together, and that is the GDX pattern because that's something that he had an interest in. And I think it's we should have an interest because someday these things are going to bottom in the current – in the uh, precious metals, but it's just not – it's just not ready yet. They're just too doggone weak. So hold on a second. I want to get this up here and show you folks where we are here on the weekly here because we're getting ready to break down. In fact, we already broken down. We've taken out the previous week's lows. Let's get this up here so we can let uh, everybody see it. Okay, bring this up here. And this is one of the things we focused on in the um, – video that we sent out with precious metals look at this this is a dead cat bounce it can barely can't even make a 382 on the weekly and look we're already making new lows uh, we've made the abcd but no rally you know no rally not good you know with the with the crude oil we made that in the market rally 10 percent. this is not rallying so the you know the, it's better to be short to gold and long at least for now and hey, tomorrow might be different but uh, that's what it looks like uh what we're paying attention here today it's very important we've looked at this from about nine different ways from sunday so what i'm going to do now is to go down and show it to you in a weekly uh, on a daily basis and you're going to see how weak this market actually really is so hold on one second and we will have this up here so you'll be able to see how weak this gold miner index is look at this we have a little look at this little three-day rally here to 382 bada bing bada boom look at this move to the downside i mean if it's moving down with stocks hello operator i mean that's one of the ones you got to pay pay uh, you know really really close attention to so keep that in mind very very important to remind ourselves of these things right here that we're looking at here here today so I hope that makes a great deal of sense to you. And if it doesn't, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. You know why, folks? Because there's going to be another bus coming down the train, uh, down the street very, very shortly. And if you keep a couple of quarters in your pocket, you'll be able to get somebody on the bus that will take you to the promised land. That's what we're looking at. But anyway, the key level to watch today here, folks, is at 32850 that's in the Dow Jones Industrials E-mini. Watch that very closely. And if the number in the S&P would be 4142. If we close above those numbers, that's a sign that there was some buying coming in and that made it a place where people will say, mm hmm, yes, I think I'll try it there. And that's all I want to do is to try it there. Nothing less, nothing more. 
That's really what you want to be trying to do is to position yourself for something that's really going to be nasty next week if we close lower. If you want to, just sell it. You know, If it closes below 600 points in the Dow, it doesn't make any difference. Just sell the darn thing. It ain't going to open higher. Where are these buyers are going to come from? They, 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 they went to the carnival today, and there, no, there were no Cupid dolls. So, uh, you know, Chairman Powell you know, basically looked like a hero the first two hours when we were up 300. Now we're down 600. We heard that he's hiding out in the Grand Tetons there somewhere in uh, the Jackson Hole. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter on the line today. Stan, are you there? Indeed, Larry. Good to talk to you. Living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. Stan, I have not seen stocks this bearish in a long, long time. Do you concur? 1973. I, I see a very similar parallel, Larry. Uh, oh, good. In 1973, and I know you remember that. I remember that. I sure the, do. The market as measured by the Dow Jones Industrials and the S&P 500 topped out in January of that year and then headed south. The market made a low in the summer and then rallied up and made a right shoulder. Here's what's interesting. Unemployment in 1973 kept getting better mm -hmm. even though the stock market peaked in January. And in fact, unemployment continued to improve until October 
And then the numbers started worsening from that point. So what happened was the Dow, the S&P, rallied up into and made a right shoulder high in October as unemployment reached its best level, then turned south. Fast forward to 2022, Dow and S&P peak in January, just like 1973, and guess what? Unemployment data is still getting better. And I hear all the talking heads, and you probably do too, say, gee, unemployment is great. You know, this economy can't get bad. Stock market can't go down. Well, guess what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> unemployment is continuing to improve. I think it probably reaches, reaches its best level in the month of August. And what do you know? We topped out on August the 16th. And I think we're going to head south from here. And I think very, very soon you're going to need a telescope, a telescope to see the current prices. I I agree with you. I, I tell you, today I got a little emotional on the radio show because I was trying to warn people. You know, I watch these ratios and, you know, we have this big breakdown from last week. You know, the market bottoms on uh, Wednesday morning rallies up into Thursday, Friday into the Fed. And the, the, the NASDAQ stopped exactly at 382. The Dow Jones exactly at 382. The S&P exactly at 50%. Stan, you've got a chart here of the SPX, and I think you've had, you have today's action already put in. Is that correct? I do, yes. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to, because this thing looks really bearish. I mean, I unless it reverses today, uh, to me, it looks like, you know, we're getting ready to have a really nasty week coming in here. And I think September and October are the two months with the most uh, common bottoms, aren't they? They are. I'm not sure I would trade based on that historically. Oh, Certainly yeah. that is true. Um I, I, the markets are dynamic, and we need to look at the cycles and see what's at play in the current time frame. Um, you know, that's just kind of, kind of the way it is, I think. Um, but uh, what I do is I look at the market as a dynamic function. I look at market cycles. I look at ratios from highs to lows, lows to highs, and that sort of thing. Um, and what I found is, is this, Larry, is if we look at the S&P, which is what I'm showing here on the screen, um, you'll see that the highs are separated by numbers, trading days, that are equated to Lucas numbers. So, for example, at the far left of the screen, uh, the September 2nd, 2021 high to the November 21st high in the NASDAQ, that was 56 trading days. The arpable function there is 58, which is Lucas 29 times 2. Okay, next high came in on January the 4th. That separation was 29 trading days, Lucas 29, and so on. You can see every single high is separated by a Lucas function or its times 2 multiplier. And I see this pattern all the time in the markets, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, it doesn't matter. It seems mm -hmm. as though the high to high functions and the low to low functions are primarily a function of the Lucas number series. Mm -hmm. And they're two times and sometimes three times multiples, sometimes four. Um, but generally, Lucas numbers and their doubles. Uh, time spans from low to high and high to low tend to, for the most part, be a function of the Fibonacci series and their doubles. Uh, so anyhow, long story short, uh, we had a mid-June low. We rallied up and kissed the 200-day moving average. That's that line in red. And now we're heading south. And the Dow, last I checked a few minutes ago, was down uh, about a Fibonacci 610 points. And the S&P was down somewhere between 89 Fib number and 94, which is two times Lucas 47. I think we're heading south. I think ultimately this thing bottoms in December. I think you could see the market shave a good 25 to 30 percent from present levels. Wow. wow. Stan, we have a question from one of our listeners. How close are Fibonacci numbers and Lucas numbers together? I know you mentioned it before, but uh, he asked the same question that I was thinking. Uh, how close are these numbers? Uh, most everyone is familiar. I say most. 
many of our viewers who are market technicians are probably familiar with the Fibonacci series, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, the companion Lucas number series, not so well known, probably not so well understood, but if you take the Fib numbers and you multiply by 1.382, that's the Lucas number series. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. That's there's like more one, math that goes yeah. behind it. And simply put, just take the Fib numbers, multiply by 1.382, and you get the Lucas series. And then what I do is I take another column and I double them. And mm -hmm. those numbers show up, I'm telling you from experience, mm -hmm. time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. How about the the full moon? I mean, we got a full moon today. Have we ever talked about lunar cycles on here? I think we have, but I I don't know because you know yeah. Dewey did a lot of work with that, and I just wondered if you did. Uh... Uh, that's more your area of expertise. Uh, oh, oh, oh no 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 no! I, I'm, I'm just a reporter. <laughs> I've looked at, at your work. Uh, I've looked at a lot of people who specialize in the astro area, and Larry. Uh, I gave up my hands. <laughs> hey, uh, I, my arms I, up. I understand. Uh, yeah, I found some astrological apparitions would coincide with market turns, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find a consistency that I could hang my hat on, mm -hmm. and I, I eventually gave up. And so okay. I tend to focus more on the Fibonacci and the Lucas aspect for turning mm -hmm. point prediction, and then I look at recurring market cycles. And do, I do a rigorous, rigorous statistical and regression mo regression modeling to yeah. uh, to capture the past, so I can model it mathematically. I can calculate the mean, the variance, the standard deviation, and then I can use that as a forward predictive tool. Yeah, those are the numbers that the algorithmic boys are playing with. So that's for sure, <laughs> very, very important. Now we got another chart here of the uh, composite, and of course that is. Uh, Hold on one second here. My alerts are going off. Every time we make new lows, uh, we're going to be making lows here. One second here, Stan. I'll get this up here. This is the the Nasdaq composite that uh, that you've uh, brought to our attention here. It's much weaker than the Dow and also the S and P. Is that correct? It is. Yes. Oh, Stan, and, we yeah. got to we got to take a break here pretty quick. So when okay. the music comes up, if you'll stay with us for the for your last couple of charts, it would be kind enough to do that. Look forward to it, absolutely. Okay, 877-927-6648, folks. We will have uh, Stan Harley back as uh, soon as we finish with the uh, commercial. And I was not able to install the Tiger Clock. It was beyond my pay grade, so I'm fortunately going to have a dead zone in here. And there's nothing I swear. It was only a few seconds. So we'll be... You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, and Stan is talking to us about the NASDAQ Composite. Do you want to continue, Stan? Uh, absolutely, Larry. Uh, the NASDAQ, uh, weaker than the Dow and the S&P. Uh, note that while the Dow, in this recent counter-trend rally, rallied slightly above its 200-day MA, the S&P 500 rallied right to its 200 day day MA. The NASDAQ, by contrast, never even reached its 200-day moving average. Mm -hmm. So among those three major benchmark indices, the uh, NASDAQ comp uh, is certainly the weakest. And I think it's probably going to lead the market uh, lower to, to new lows. Mm -hmm. We're well, down sharply today. We're down almost 3% today. That's a heck of a move. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm looking for this thing to stair-step its way down into mid-December. And as I wow, said, I mid -December. Whew. we're going wow, to be, dude. I yeah. believe we'll be substantially lower mm -hmm. and uh, we'll re, we'll, we will reevaluate at that point. But right now, that's how mm -hmm. the tea leaves look to me. Well, your tea leaves have been pretty good, my friend. We had you on here a few weeks ago and you had danger flags flying all over your chart. So uh, they're, they're coming true today. So listen, I want to thank you for being our guest today. And we'll have you on it again. I know you have to really squeeze us in on days like today, but it's certainly appreciative. Where's the best way that folks can reach you if they wanted to see a copy of your newsletter, Stan? Uh, they can uh, log on to my website. My contact information is there. Mm -hmm. Okay, just Stan Harley, uh, Harley Stock Market Letters, right? The Harley Market Letter, it's called, yes. Harley Market Letters, okay. Hey, thanks for joining us, my friend. Stay on the green side of the grass, and we'll see you in a few weeks. Absolutely. Thank you so much, folks. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Three beautiful charts showing you that the market is in a rather precarious uh, situation right now. But, you know, these things can change in a heartbeat. Since we were on just a little while ago when we hit the three eight, the ABCD up there at uh, 3266, we've now dropped another 100 handles. Whoops. Let's try that one handle down 100 points in the Dow Jones down to, I see it just clicked off at 3256. So, uh, you know, we're starting to get lower. I think we got as much as lower as seven. If we close down more than a thousand points today, folks, this thing's going to be really nasty. I don't know what the news is going to be out there, but something's going to happen over the weekend that's not going to be very nice. So uh, remind ourselves that that stuff can't happen. It doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, you and when it does, you want to be able to share, be able to say that you, by golly, you took advantage of it. So we've been alerting you. I hope it helps a little bit. But uh, these numbers, uh, these algorithmic trading, Stan even mentioned the importance of the standard deviation also. All of that is, uh, all of that is ex extremely important. Stop and think, folks. Do you realize we're down 130 points from the high today in the S&P and 900 points in the Dow Jones? That's an outlier event, folks. So pay close attention to that. Coming in Monday, if you've got positions that you're – that you're thinking about getting rid of, this is the, especially if they're long, short, eh, it might stay short. But if you're in a long position that you're worried about closing badly today, you just don't want to come into it. This, the market is these these people know this stuff, folks. So somebody's out there selling. It wasn't the little guy out there. 
I can promise you that he wasn't selling into that strength unless he was looking at, you know, some of these three eight twos and numbers we were looking at. But by golly, that's that's all we're watching here. You know, that's the that's the main thing to pay attention to. You remember yesterday we even we were on here because I said that and I'll get this up here because I wanted to show the three eight two because we went through that. We hit it yesterday several times. If you remember, we went right up here to the forty one ninety four. We hit forty nine Oh, 4205 but we went up to 4220 we went up exactly to the 50 percent retracement up here folks now they didn't stop there for you know or, or, by accident <laughs> because they all hit the same thing at 50 percent in the s p 38 percent in the dow jones 38 percent in the nasdaq and 38 percent in the russell so that's telling this market is relatively weak and being down 700 points in the dow definitely calculates it to being weak that's that's the that's the whole thing of what we're what we're looking at as we're watching these things here so i hope that makes a lot of sense to you but that's uh, the main thing that i'm trying to import important to, to tell you to please be very very careful here on the long side remember when we had this bottom down here in june on june 24th we had all those abcd patterns happening in the whole world Thought the S&P was going to 2,800. We were trading at 3,200. Well, we got up to uh, 4,300. Uh, we rallied over 1,100 points in the S&P over the next three and a half weeks. And now that is coming home to roost. And the chickens are not in the pot, folks. The chickens are not in the pot. They can't be found. We're going lower. Lower, lower. Don't be a grower. I was a poet and don't know it. I makes it rhyme every time. Hold on one second here. We'll get up to stuff that you might be interested in. And we had a question about something that was very important yesterday, and that is this natural gas. I still believe, let me get this up here, that we are going to 1,400 in the natural gas. So if you see a 382 pullback and you do get them in these markets, take a look at it because that's a good place to enter. This is the daily. You can see here the last 382 we made here just this week. And we've stayed above it, and we're it looks like we're heading higher. We're going to make this large A, B, C, D, and that takes you to 14 in natural gas. I feel sorry for the people in Germany and London. They're going to have to be paying for this. But I hear stories that they're breaking up furniture, getting ready to cook their furniture, cook their furniture, burn their furniture for heat in the, in Germany and parts of the, the United Kingdom that's up north where it gets very cold up there. Anyway, I hope that uh, gives you some idea of how lucky we are how lucky we are here in the United States to see this stuff uh, you know coming to fruition here to see how we're going to be acting. Anyway, let's uh, remind ourselves that's what it is folks. It's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. That's the real key to what we're looking at right here. Now, the uh, another one that looks very interesting, like it's getting ready to take off and, and go quite a bit higher, is the corn. I wanted to bring this up to you one more time because we had a nice pullback, again, right at the 382. Let me draw it in just a second, just to show you that we're not making this up as we go through here. And where are you, 382? Ah, shut the front door. There we got it. Let me draw it in on the black on a black line here, so you'll be able to see it. This is the three eight two today in the uh, corn. Let me get. Ah, Doc got it. How? When I get these darn things shut up, this is the, there. It is right here. And okay, there's the three eight two this morning. We made the three eight two exactly right here at 48 and change and look at this we've already rallied 15 cents this is telling us the corn is really strong folks into that that when it hits a 382 like that that's a you know three days down at a 382 my goodness that's a that's a beauty so let's keep that one in mind as we go through here we're going to have a break coming up by the way al i tried to install that tiger clock no i mean i clicked on download and that was it it's setting there download somewhere uh, i don't know how to do it so i'm not going to worry about it um, I'm not a technical person, and you know what? I'm proud of it. I don't really care because I uh, do the best I can with what little I have. Hold on one second. Well, I shouldn't say little because I've been pretty blessed with everything that's been going on in my life. Give me one second. 877-927-6648.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and I posted a chart of uh, Goldman Sachs. As you can see here, we had the beautiful ABCD down, and then we had the three-week rally, and I spell week, W-E-E-K, very, very shallow, going right up to just a little above the 382, gapping down this week, folks. This is a Friday, so you're seeing a weekly gap down in the Dow Jones, in the, uh, what do you call it, uh, Goldman Sachs. The rally today was basically nothing. So uh, remind ourselves, these things are looking uh, pretty negative in here, folks. So I think it's important that we pay very, very close attention to them because with the Dow, Dow, Dow down is almost 700 points right now, and we're halfway through two hours to go. If we close down really bad, uh, look out. This is nothing what's going to happen next week. I don't know what the news is going to be, but the news is going to catch up because the news follows the trend. So just be really careful, folks, if we close down more than 600 points not a very good sign so and of course we could see buying come in at any time but by golly down 700 you know we're below one standard deviation now and that's not a good sign we already know that so let's keep that in mind as we look at some of these tomorrow on Monday we're going to have Jeff Huge as our guest I'll be doing Tom O'Brien's show 
on Monday as well as my own show. So just be careful over the weekend, folks. This is not a very, very positive sign that we're seeing with all these patterns making 382 rallies into gaps and then failing like this. This is telegraphing. Things are bad. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>